Good evening and welcome to Abby's channel. Tonight we're going to be looking at a Pepsi Coca-Cola bottle. You can see right off the bat that it's a Pepsi Double Dot. The Double Dots for Pepsi started in, I believe, 1906. Went up through the 50s. This particular bottle is an amber. We figure it was made in the 30s to early 40s. And they came in green clear and amber, like you see here. We're going to get some better shots on it. And the first 12 ounce bottles, which what this is, this is a 12 ounce Pepsi bottle. We'll see if we can see the 12 ounces on it. Contains 12 fluid ounces. And the bottles that they used were used beer bottles. So this is one of the amber beer bottles that they used. We can see the label. Again, it says sparkling bracing beverage, Pepsi Cola. And it says it's refreshing and helpful. Coca-Cola Company, Long Island, New York, Los Angeles, California. Really nice label on that bottle. So we like to uh, put these videos out. So people, when you go scavenger hunting or you go to the flea markets or you go to the consignment shops, whatever, when you're on the hunt, it's what we call it when we go out looking for things. When you're on the hunt, we want to help in assisting you with determining what you've got and what it could be worth. So we're going to get a look at Mr. Stoddard's notes that he put in his Pepsi book back in 2002 concerning this bottle. So what Mr. Stoddard states in his book, it's a 2002 edition is that in uh, 1934, Pepsi offered the first 12 ounce bottles for a nickel. The first 12 ounce bottles were used beer bottles is what you see here. These bottles came in green again, amber and clear colors. Naturally, this is obviously an amber bottle. Each bottle was decorated with a paper label bearing the Pepsi Cola trademark. Due to the fragility of the paper label, most of these bottles have perished, which makes the paper label beer bottles, which this is, very collectible and valuable. That's on page 115 of his book. And I'm going to try to show you a picture in his collector's book to give you an idea of what he prices them out. For if you come across one, keeping in mind that the edges of the labels, etc., any chips in the bottle are going to weigh on the value of that bottle in another collector's eyes. So let's uh, let's take a look at the book. So we can see right here that in 1940, that's obviously a beer bottle as well. We can see that right there. The label we have on ours, it's not this beer bottle. You know, he's got it listed in his book at 1940. At $125 and we can see the label we have on our beer bottle is this label over here it's the one that says refreshing and helpful and a it's a sparkling bracing beverage so it's always good to have you know an expert like the gentleman uh, get access to their literature study it read it every now and then so you'll know what to keep your eye out for that's how we come across these things so uh, we believe our bottle is 1937 to 1942. We can see in his books, in this book, I, I don't think you can really see it, but the label on this, this bottle right here, which is the label we have, it has a, a few imperfections at the top, but he's listing that at $150. Well, all of them have a fairly decent price. Some of them go as high as 500, but that's not what we have. This is, we have this bottle and we have this label. 
that being said, uh, the book was written in 2002. As, as time goes on, of course, collectibles become more uh, valuable, uh, more sought after. And so we would put a price in our minds on this bottle right here between, uh, I'd say, $275 and $350. Of course, you don't want to pay that. You want to uh, hopefully get a good deal on it at a flea market, consignment shop, antique store, what have you. And sometimes the people, and you don't want to rip anybody off, sometimes they know what they have and sometimes they don't. If you come across one, offer them a fair price and everybody will be happy. So again, thanks for coming to Abby's channel. We hope we've been able to provide you with some information that might help you when you're hunting, when you're out hunting for collectibles. And good evening from Augusta, Georgia.